Bob Fresca. Yo, what's up you guys? Coming at you guys with another gameplay today and this video I'm making um is gonna be I'm just talking about the game awards last night and how I feel about them because I don't really it didn't really make me go wow last night you know it wasn't even a wow moment in the game awards last night so and I mean the Metal Gear Solid online was that was pretty dope I'm not gonna lie that would look that looked really good and as far as the categories go, like the um, the best sports racing game and all that stuff, I feel like Frozen Horizon 2 should have won that. Mario Kart, uh, not so much. You know, not saying I don't like Wii, I like Wii. I'm going to get a Wii U for Smash Bros. That's probably about it. But um, other than that, like the big, the big world premieres, I wasn't even, none of them made me go, wow. Like, I was just like, okay, that looks... It looks okay. It looks decent. And my biggest problem with it was um, Microsoft. They didn't present anything. But, you know, I guess since they pre presented so many games last time, they just didn't have anything to present right now. Or they didn't want to give anything new until, like, probably like GDC or the next E3 on June 16th. But, um... Um... I've been hearing that, you know, Wii fans got butt hurt over the Bayonetta 2 not being winning game of the year. And I'm sorry, but Dragon Age is a great game. I think it deserved to win game of the year because of what goes down in it. And I give the game a 9.5 out of 10 because it's just that good. Like, the story is good, the action, the fighting mechanics are better than before, and it just feels right. <laughs> But, um, other than that, you know, they didn't say anything about the Street Fighter V yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be exclusive to them, so. But I'm not going to play a PC. I'm not going to try to play it on PC either, so it's, you might as well just say it's exclusive to PlayStation, which is fine with me, which is fine with me. I mean, um, I was just expecting Microsoft to come out and show a little bit of something, you know, but I guess not. They got a couple games that were premiered that are coming to the Xbox One too. But most of the night it was Wii and PlayStation. If you, if everybody saw that. But other than Metal Gear Solid, which was like the first world premiere and thing like that, that was the only thing that had a wow moment to it because it looked great. And I guess the people who like, um, like I said, the Wii people and the PlayStation people. I'm guessing they had a wow moment because they showed, well, PlayStation showed everything that they showed, like, fucking eight months ago at E3. They just finally showed gameplay for it, so I guess that's a wow moment for them. And the Wii U, they just showed some Zelda and a Mario Maker, which I like Zelda. I like Mario, so that was pretty decent for me. So, I mean, that's another reason why I'll get a Wii U for Zelda and probably the Mario. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. That's my thoughts on what the VGAs and how they went about everything. But you know, that's all I got for you guys today. But um, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, share the video please. I need more people to come in and look at the video. It would be much appreciated. All right, thanks for watching. Before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Thank the maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. He insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... to get to the breach and quickly to the breach i don't the way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment go while you still can at once quickly let's move the path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well let's hurry before that changes down the ladder that's the way to the temple <laughs> 